Hey y'all, it's Jessica Ray Plays and welcome back to the channel for your brand new episode of the Cottage Living Let's Play Part 5. So thank you guys so much for coming back into another episode of our cottage living. I am really, really excited to actually dive into more of the storyline today. But don't worry, if you are loving the gameplay, there's still going to be more gameplay in it as well. But I definitely want to show more of the family and the struggles, especially that the mom and dad or grandmother and grandfather are having in their own personal lives as well. But if you are new and you have missed a lot, I would definitely recommend going back to the very first episode so you can get the whole idea of their backstory and everything else but if you are new make sure you do hit the subscribe button because it does just help our little village to grow make sure you give this video a big sweet thumbs up and make sure you are commenting down below because remember that is where you do shine and also i am featuring the claire siobhan fill-in country or fill-in peachy um shirt today i thought it was really really cute and i wanted to go ahead and put it on because obviously you gotta have some sunshine you gotta have some rays in order to make this a beautiful sun uh, flower but it was really really cute it was yellow and that's obviously our color and that's our theme so I thought it was really really fun to include this and it's just it's, it's a really cute shirt I mean it really is it's a little tight but it's cute <laughs> and it goes well with today's theme which is it is hotter than sriracha in here right now I feel like my face is melting I feel like my hair is sagging I mean it is all burning up I even turned down the AC today and everything to get this whole shebang started because I was like you wee Peppa's like even down here like running around so you might even see her she was taking a nap but she decided that she wanted to play of course right when I start to film but so yeah so without further ado let's hop into this gameplay so we are back on the gorgeous farm we have these little two cutie patooties over here doing a little fishing together which i think is so freaking cute especially since now i figured out that the freaking thing had to go inside the pond and not like outside here which i totally did i put it on the outside and yeah it has to go in the pond just in case you're wondering oh my gosh look at that little cutie stop stop Oh my gosh, I would so love it if she came over here and gossiped with this little thing. Oh my gosh, socialize, ask for perspective. Oh my gosh, gifting. Can we gift it anything yet? Do you have a book? Oh, we can gift it our, oh my gosh, we can gift it our freaking homework. What? But nothing, oh wait, 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 there was something, wait, or was that something else? Okay, we can just gift her the book. That definitely does stink, but I'm definitely 100% sure that she'd be like, yeah, oh, did you see that? It like turned like right away. It was like, yes, come talk to me. So if he is getting some goldfish, which is great. And I think mm, Granny and Grandpa, or as we should say, uh, who is this, Hilda and Mac Mac, they're over here actually doing their garden stuff today. I'm pretty sure he did all of the, yes, the chuckleberries and the blueberries. And we got more honeys to sell in our honey booth over here. We're actually going to come and cook a meal. Okay, this is so exciting because I have no idea what we can cook yet. I've never, we haven't done this, but we can make some cheese. That's kind of interesting. But we do have lactose intolerant people, so... We can't make that. We can make Yorkshire pudding, which I have no idea what is Yorkshire pudding, but it sounds very delicious. Ooh, hamburger cake. Is there anything like yummy that we could do? <gasps> a beef Wellington. Oh my gosh. Okay. I have no idea what beef Wellington is, but I, I think it's like really expensive, isn't it? Like some kind of thing. But if we made that, that would be really, really freaking cute. We could take that with us when we go to our family picnic. I want them to have a little fun today. I feel like they've been doing a lot of hustling and bustling. And I think it'd be really, really nice just to get these guys out of the house and go have a freaking picnic. But <gasps> chocolate pie, fish, what? <laughs> I don't know how to say that. Berry scones. Oh my gosh, that sounds even more yummy. Oh my gosh, chocolate scones. Those just sound, oh my gosh, they have pumpkin scones. <gasps> Are you freaking kidding me? Oh my gosh, all this looks, mmm, blueberry pie, oh my gosh, oh, watermelon salad, what? Okay, but I definitely think that Granny would make this beef Wellington, and obviously we're gonna make a family size, no wait, we're gonna make a party size, cause then we'll bring back whatever's left. I definitely want these guys to have a little bit more cutesy fun. I definitely feel like she's like, Mom, I'm exhausted. I'm tired. So she's definitely going to come over here and definitely give her mother like a big old like loving hug. 
and maybe tell her like a little goofy story to be like, mom, let's quit fishing now and let's give some hugs and stuff to each other. But oh, look how cute. Yes. Oh my gosh, look at her. She is about to pop. I have never seen her belly be so huge. We have Granny cooking this lovely beef wellington over here. Oh my gosh, I wonder if they can. Can she milk it? No, but she can. Oh wait, milk Gertrude. Oh, she can. Okay, we can do some cleaning and all that fun stuff. And okay, good. The shed does not need to be cleaned, so that's also perfecto. Oh my gosh, we collected seven eggs today. Holy crap. I don't think we've ever collected so many eggs. That is great for us. Holy crap. That's amazing. I'm definitely gonna put those in there. I don't think we got any um, hatchable eggs this time, did we? No, it doesn't say anything about special eggs or hatchable eggs. So that's unfortunate, but oh my gosh, it's ready. It's here, look at this. Holy crap, look at that yummy, yummy food. Guys, that is a beef wellington and it looks so freaking good. Oh my gosh, ha! <laughs> okay, so let's get our little picnic basket in. We'll put our little beef wellington in there and we're gonna put this in our thing. Doing it, oh my gosh, our children can milk a cow. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Did she actually do it too? Shut up! Oh my gosh, so it seems like the only person that's not able to to milk Gertrude is Hilda. That's pretty hilarious. So if you remember last episode, we were trying to earn money to get our daughter a, a computer where she could attend school on the farm. We did it, uh, as you can tell by our monies. We were at 142 freaking dollars. We were actually able to get her the laptop. I think we have like 1100 last episode. I did have Mac actually sell his sketch pad that he got from fishing and it's like $750. But I did sell it down here in this little thing for $750. I know I said I wasn't going to do that, but I couldn't sell it on the table and I couldn't sell it to the people in town on the booths. So I figured might as well just sell it there. So that did give us a little bit more money and I think we sold a couple of things that was extra in order to get our moolahs. So there we go. We are actually ready to go and travel. I'm so excited. We're gonna go travel, have our first family picnic and oh my gosh, why are you so upset with Ian Moody? I mean, with a name like that, I'd be pretty upset too. But anywho, let's go ahead and do all these. We will definitely have a little family outing today. I'm so excited. I am so pumped to get these guys out of the house, have a nice little sit down, eat some yummy food, especially a beef wellington at that. This, oh my gosh, this world is so gorgeous over here. We got this gorgeous pond where they can come and do some like little fishing together. Obviously we have like this whole area over here, especially where our lovely Ios can come and play with like a clay and blocks and this little car. And she can even do some of this as well. And it'd be really, really cute. But I think we're actually gonna go over here to these little tables and we're gonna sit down and have a nice little picnic. And oh my gosh, just look how beautiful. Imagine, honestly, this just makes me so jealous to have a nice little picnic right here at this little, like, little table next to like this little gorgeous river and everything. I definitely feel like that is so freaking cute. Hmm, interesting. I cannot get them to do this at all. It needs to be placed on a picnic table. I'm trying my hardest. Why won't it go? And look, looks like Liam has even like come over. He's like, hey guys, what's going on? Hi. Oh my gosh, that's so cute that even like he came over. But why won't it sit on the table? Ah, oh, I wonder if honestly it's because this little thing right here is on there. But anyway, she's like, I'm gonna go play. Um, I don't have time for all this. So she's like, let me just go play, mom. You can definitely go hang out. To over there and play a little bit. So I'm thinking it's honestly because this little thing right here is there and that's the reason why we can't have our picnic. But nevertheless, we'll go ahead and harvest these blueberries that are definitely calling our name. I guess we can go always home eventually and then we'll just have our little picnic at the house. I feel like that's like a pretty good little compromise. But anyways, these guys are really having a good time over here and we're definitely not gonna let it spoil our like little outing. We'll just go home and have our meal. Oh my god! And just so happens we have literally gone into labor as soon as she asks him, like, hey, are you a doctor? And he's like, yeah. 
I'm chief of staff at the Sumerian Labs. What? Oh my gosh. So Devlin looked at her, she's like, I'm in labor. <laughs> what? This is crazy. So I definitely feel like he's like, you know what? He's gonna go over to her. He's gonna definitely like give her a big old hug and say, it's okay, I got you. And I definitely feel like he would kiss her hands, but I definitely feel like he would do that. But obviously I feel like he would definitely do something like that where he would have hugged her and been like, you know what, I got you, honey. And he definitely would be like, here, let me feel your belly. Let me see like when your next contraction is, see how far apart they are. And definitely, you know, being super friendly and super nice, especially, you know, that she's pregnant and she's by herself. But can he, can we actually like get our hands kissed now? Because I think that'd be so cute. He'd be like, Mwah. You know, like, I'm gonna take care of you. I got you. Oh my gosh, she found two upgraded parts. I wonder what toy she's gonna find in here. That's gonna be so exciting. Oh my gosh. Look how big that is. Holy crap. I've never like really imagined like how big those lugs are, but wow, girl, what you got? I also found a discarded Void Critters poster pack. Oh, okay. Well, we, okay. I mean, that's kind of interesting. I don't think I've ever had that before, but we can go ahead and open this up. What did we get? We got a Nimbus. I definitely feel like she would sell that like in a very hot minute or she'd probably like gift it to somebody like gift it to one of her friends we got a goldfish that's pretty darn stinking good I am gonna let them do some fishing really quickly before we head off back to the house because I definitely feel like we need money <laughs> Mac and Hilda did not get to have that conversation that they really desperately needed to have with their daughter Ify and obviously Al's they have a little struggle that they've been going through and they definitely have been wanting to tell her daughter something but they just have not had the time or the means to tell her so i definitely feel like we should probably head on home as soon as somebody gets a nice little fish who's gonna get one first okay this is a showdown <gasps> who's gonna get one? Oh, oh, what the heck is that that look at her she's like so proud like <laughs> well we got aisles over here just like yeah Fishing's boring, man. <laughs> oh, oh, poor dad. He has been catching nothing, nothing at all. <gasps> What'd you get? Oh, did you find something? What'd you get? Was it nothing? Did you get nothing too? Oh, I could have swore you got something. So we are back home. We are actually still waiting for our girl to have the baby. Literally like in, whoa, what's this? 11 minutes. She's going to be having her little boy. So dad is obviously out here. He's just like, ah, I'm so frantic. I'm literally going to be a grandfather for the second time. And I actually get to be a part of, you know, seeing this child and um, definitely like seeing it grow up a little bit more. So he's definitely out here like trying to sell the family honey <laughs> to try to earn some money because obviously we only have $239 in our bank right now and you know <laughs> he's like dang we gotta go get a bassinet and everything but I definitely feel like she is getting ready to pop it finally looks like we are getting ready to have this little baby where did the bassinet go oh my gosh those freaking things are broken again. okay if he's having the baby oh and she's having it in their room she's like you know what i don't feel like walking up them stairs let me go ahead and have this little bundle of joy like right here so a bunch of you guys went on discord and i asked you guys for a bunch of names so i'm definitely gonna put it up here where you guys did a lot of the suggestions so i'm actually gonna go ahead and call him ryan or rian rin i think it's how you pronounce it it looks like this oops not an n an n it's kind of like rain a little bit but it's like ren i think i really do like that one but i definitely feel like they would probably call him like rai rai or rai like as a little short like you know like most parents do they name their kids and then give them like some kind of like pet name or something so i definitely feel like he's gonna be called ren <laughs> ren <laughs> right and then we'll call him rai rai i think that would be so freaking cute so yes we have our little boy oh my gosh and granny's like um let me get out of this bed and let me come see my baby but oh my gosh imagine honestly 
knowing that you lost your husband and then here he is you get your own little thing and look at her she's like let me go swing because honestly i think she would want to remember her husband in that sense because that was like where they spent most of their time was like swinging and obviously by the big thing they're just so freaking cute oh my gosh oh my gosh what's all these my little baby doing what i love oh i spent time with her family obviously new baby alert <laughs> exhausted girl <laughs> 100 this is boring what oh my gosh dark circles from lack of sleep yes especially having a new little baby in the family 100 but obviously it looks like isles does have that little glitchy bug where it transforms her hair so right now she's actually rocking out this beautiful pink hair which we're just gonna roll with pretend she has her red hair tomorrow is her first day on her big girl computer i'm really, really excited to see how this works i don't think i've ever done this before attend class online Ooh, you cannot choose this option in after 12 or 1 p.m Ooh, that's great oh my gosh we're gonna attend interactive lecture classmates do homework study steady helper oh my gosh look at all these wow okay this is gonna be great for her this is gonna be phenomenal she's gonna do so good i feel like it says on vacation i don't know why it says that if that's like what it says that's kind of interesting but either way i'm really really excited to obviously do all this with her in the mornings it looks like daddy o has stopped selling his honey oh my gosh we actually did a pretty good job actually I uh, kind of forgot about him. So go ahead and stock that table one more time. Oh my gosh, we got a sentiment with somebody. What the heck is your sentiment? Like, it's not supposed to be like that. Oh, <laughs> Max sentiment about Courtney is that she's immature. But Courtney's sentiment about Mac, the anti-crush. What? Is dislike at first sight a thing? Because Courtney really doesn't like Mac's overalls vibe. What? Are you kidding me? It's country living. Hello, we gotta have the overalls. Like, what are you talking about? Like, that's a one of a kind, like, look. Okay, our table has run out of a thing, but that's totally fine. We're gonna go ahead and start our yard sale. We're definitely gonna be tanning this table tonight. He's gonna be like, yes, we need all of the stuff that we can get. Definitely feel like Evie has put herself to bed. She's like, you know what? I, I'm done. Oh, and she has discovered a little thing under her bed. And instead of being the one child that's like terrified and like running away, she's just like, no, let me talk to you. I want to talk. Like, what? My girl is so cute. Oh my gosh. But I think she can actually go ahead and get a little bit of her stuff done. So I'm actually going to have her attend a little bit of the lecture today. And then we can meet classmates. Oh my gosh, look how many classmates. Oh, okay, this is awesome. Oh my gosh, I feel like this is what I need to do like from now on with everything because oh my gosh, you get to see literally all the kids. Holy crap. Oh my god, look at her. Oh, look at that. Oh my gosh, just yesterday they were nothing. That is a big eggplant. Holy cow. Holy cow. Oh my gosh. Like we could sell it, but I don't think we're ready to sell. Like I actually want it to get bigger. Can it get bigger? Especially like our mushrooms. Like it says we can sell our mushrooms right now, but I don't want to do that either. I want them to get huge. We need to spray for bugs 100%. Oh my gosh. Will it get bigger than this? Definitely then our pumpkin should get huge, right? Oh my gosh, that makes me so excited. Oh my goodness. We definitely need to find, um, who's got some of that, like, s that good, good stuff? Freaking good. How about our honey stand? How's it doing? Wow, $847. Okay, I've been slacking, lacking. I have not seen what he's been doing. Let's go ahead and stock the table just a little bit more. Oh my gosh, what? Okay, daddy, I really hope that you're not getting no, like, love sentiments. Oh my God. What are you doing? What are you doing down here? <laughs> uh, he is like loving on everybody. I don't understand. He's probably like, mm. <laughs> independent, incapable, responsible. I definitely see him being the type that would be like, you know, you want some, you know, you want some of my honey. And people would probably take it as flirtatious, but I don't think that he means it as flirtatious. <laughs> But oh my gosh, I can't believe that. Like, he's got some, definitely some love. 
burst in between them. I was trying to see if she felt any way about it, but she doesn't, so that's also good. Now, I do think Mr. Yes, he is up. He's ready. So, definitely Granny's going to come in here and do some feeding. Definitely doing some silly faces and some cuddles. Oh, my gosh. So freaking cute. I love them so much. And we're going to do one more yard sale. Stock the table, tend to the table, and do all that. Definitely one more round. I hope that we kind of get, like, over... A thousand dollars that I earned that would be really really good as for our inventory we do have these but for some reason they won't go on there just yet but that's okay we do need to do our picnic so we definitely will have that and let's see here granny is definitely tending to the baby oh the online lecture has officially ended you can continue if you aren't finished but there won't be any more lectures or aisles for until tomorrow if your grades didn't update please use the do homework interaction on the computer so it can update your performance meter <gasps> Oh, that's so cool. Okay, good. So she's actually done with her um, lectures. So that's really good. So we are going to do our homework and we're going to do some study, some science, and hopefully do some study with classroom or the classmates as well. But I love that. <laughs> and look, she's up here. Oh my gosh, really? I feel like this is such a mom thing to do. Like your daughter is literally in bed and what are you up here doing? You're cleaning. You're cleaning the freaking thing. Like, let's get rid of all these dust bunnies. Oh my gosh. Ah, oh, I love it. I love it so much. What is she going to go do? She's going to go polish, polish this very old high chair that we got down here. I definitely feel like it was obviously iffies. And she's going to be like, look, I cleaned it up for, you know, our little Ren whenever he gets a little bit older. I think that's really freaking cute. Oh my gosh. I cannot wait for Isles to get done with her schoolwork. So obviously she can come down here. I definitely want her to make more friends with these little bunnies. I think that would be really, really stinking cute. I really, really, really want to get a freaking llama. That's like next thing. I swear this pumpkin is taking forever. Oh my gosh, this, I just can't get over how big that eggplant is. And I think this coming Sunday, ooh, what's this? What's this? GeekCon. Ooh, oh, that is really cool. But now we're going to go to GeekCon. Unless, I don't know, should we? I feel like that's like outside of the area. But it would be kind of cute to take maybe grandfather and grandmother to the town maybe or something and kind of do something with them. But Saturday is the garden fair. But it's not the overgrown, which the overgrown is two weeks away. Holy crap. That's a long time from now. But it is a pie competition and a garden competition. So I'm definitely thinking that maybe we take one of our, like one of these like little quills. I think that will be really interesting to do because obviously I don't think nobody around here has probably seen one of those. As soon as he gets done <laughs> flirting and chatting and definitely selling everybody their honey, <laughs> I definitely feel like we need to go to the town market and definitely do a little bit of selling today. As Granny takes her her little nap, she's like, "Whew, these dang bust bust the dust things like they don't freaking go away." Dear old Daddy, move the picnic table over here because obviously there was some glitches going on. But we got our little beef floating set up. We got our picnic table. What is Isles, my love, doing? Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm actually gonna put your hunger down just a bit because I am so ready for this family to have like a little picnic. Definitely do a little bit more cute things and interactions, but it looks like the game is like, no, we ain't doing none of that today. <laughs> Can we call it a meal maybe? Yeah. There we go. At least these guys got a very, very cute little thing going on here. They're definitely waiting for obviously their daughter to come downstairs because I definitely feel like they want to have a talk with her. But it's just whenever she's able to and whenever I'm able to actually click on her, it would be so great. Okay, well, I don't know what happened to my game, but it is frozen or whatever it is doing right now. I have no idea, but if you guys have this problem, definitely let me know. There's like some blue little squares all over the place. <laughs> I don't I don't know if it's like the UI cheats or something maybe needs updating. But it should be like all capable or I don't even know what's going on. But obviously I didn't get to have the scene that I wanted to. But I definitely pictured that mom and dad or grandmother and grandmother, Hilda and Mac were down here. Definitely at the picnic table having their little meal. Maybe Isles was still upstairs doing her homework. But definitely Iffy was coming down here to get some food. So just pretend obviously that they're sitting there and they were eating their food. And grandmother and grandfather 
tell their daughter, Iffy, that they're not doing so well, that the farm is not doing a very good job, that they are actually planning on selling the farm and moving into the city. They have decided that this is becoming way too much for them to handle, especially in their old age and everything else. So they definitely have dropped a, a big bombshell on their daughter to let them know that things might be changing even more. And obviously, I definitely feel like they feel guilt because obviously they got their newest grandbaby and everything else. They definitely can tell also that the house is very, very small. I mean, you know, we've only got this one bedroom downstairs and then we have two upstairs. The fact that they only have like $1,000, I definitely feel like they are 100% just like, oh my gosh, what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? because they love their house. Obviously they've lived here forever and they never wanna leave. All right, so I figured it out. It was my UI cheats, I think, because I took them out and it's back, unless it's just where I did a reset on my whole entire game and I came back in and it just got rid of it magically. But either way, we will find out. But <laughs> before I did wrap it up, I did actually wanna go into town. Oh my gosh, her grades are up. She is now a grade B student. Good job. Oh my gosh, yes. So see, the Kawhi CC mod does work. So I'm actually really, really glad. Oh my gosh, our freaking bees, I swear they're enraged. They're enraged. Our bees are always enraged, I feel like. But, oh my gosh, okay. Finally, I'm gonna go ahead and pause that right here. And we're gonna go ahead and open this up. We're gonna see what we got. So parsley, I'm pretty sure we probably need a little bit of those. We've got our wrapped white meat, which we do definitely need. Grand that, we got a mighty milk, plant milk, <laughs> that we need to keep. We actually do have a salmon in here as well. We have two goldfish, like I'm sorry, but we're not gonna be eating no dang goldfish. We do have a spicy mushroom in here that I do plan on keeping. Let's go ahead and let's get rid of some of our eggs. I definitely feel like that is good. Oh my gosh, I still can't get over those big eggplants. I can't wait to see what... <gasps> our, our, our pumpkin! Our pumpkin's orange, you guys! Oh my gosh, $445 in our eggplant? $643! Oh my gosh. Watermelon, $642, and our mushrooms is $320. But I'm definitely thinking that they're going to be like one, and it's going to be like a huge, massive one. So I'm definitely going to let them grow out just a little bit more. I'm definitely going to wait and have to see what happens with that, because I'm really, really excited to see. And grandmother has definitely taken a nap. She's like, you know what? I'm exhausted, okay? Like, I'm old. <laughs> Let's go ahead and clean out the coop, and we will collect our eggs as well. Hopefully, there's like quite a bit of eggs in there today. <gasps> There's one special egg. Are you kidding me? And we got one hatchable. Oh my gosh. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, I actually want to keep the hatchable egg. I don't know how we hatch it or how do you do that. So you guys would definitely have to let me know. But oh my gosh, look. Oh, we got an orange egg. What? How, how did we get an orange egg? Oh my gosh. We got an orange egg and this hatchable egg. How do we do this? <gasps> incubate. Oh my gosh. Yes. Let's do that. Okay. Let's incubate it in the coop. Oh my gosh. 100%. Oh my gosh. Look, we can leave it in there and it's going to be your little baby chicken. Oh, I love that. I love that so much. And we got six more bottles to sell from Gertrude. Gertrude. Okay. Now, <laughs> I know that mom and dad literally just told her that they're going to sell the farm, but listen, I want to know, I want to know how much is a freaking llama. I know, priorities, right? Priorities, here we are, like, struggling on the farm and everything else, and we're just like, no, nah, let's go ahead and spend our little bit of more money that we definitely don't have, and let's just get us a freaking um, llama. But oh my gosh, I definitely feel like our llama would need a little bit more cutesy pootsy on him. We could do a little green one. Oh my gosh, shut up. Okay, I love that. <laughs> How much is it? Okay. How much is this llama gonna cost us? Okay, should we get a beige llama or a white llama? Oh my gosh, we can actually afford one too. Okay, you guys will definitely have to let me know which one do you guys want me to get. Should we get a beige or should we get a light one? Definitely let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Let me know which one you guys want me to get, a beige or a white one, and we'll get it next episode. We got that. We got that. 
Granny, I know you're tired. I know you're exhausted. I don't have my cheats right now to do that, but we need to go to town because we need to sell everything that we got because we literally have not that long. Like it closes at seven, right? So it's 6.13 right now. All right, we are haggling and I don't think she's going to. Okay, so Agatha is not the one that does it. It is definitely Agatha, or wait, what? <laughs> She's not the right sister. She's not the right one to to definitely do that off of. It's definitely the other sister that is the most nicest one. But oh my gosh, I'm so excited because we're actually going to get to see what we get. Okay, this is grand. Look how much money we're going to make today. Aren't you going to enjoy this egg? Yeah. Oh my gosh. $1,466 today. What? Oh my god. What? Let's see what you got in your shop. Hurry up, hurry up. Because it's like you're going to be closing in like seven minutes. Ooh, we don't have a good relationship with her. Maybe that's why. Let's see what we can get, if anything. Ooh, a bird of paradise. Okay, let's get that. Because that actually might be really, really good for us to start, you know, doing a lot more of. Hmm, there's some Delilahs. That's a really, really fun, ain't it? A glow orb. Ooh, grow fast fertilizer. Yes. Give us some of that. We definitely want more of this hassle free. I definitely feel like those are good things to get. <laughs> Healthy treat. Ooh, a plasma fruit. <laughs> okay, we got roses. Ooh, a rose would be really nice to do. Okay, we'll get, so we get a rose as well. We're just gonna get everything. Now that we got a little bit more money ahead, it's just like, no, nah, don't worry about the bills. Oh, and the bills are due today too. Oh, okay. Not that our bills were due. Uh, okay. $579 we spent. How much was our bills? Oh! Oh my gosh. $2,637? Are you kidding me? We can't pay our bills. Oh, we cannot pay our bills. Okay, um, this is not good. This is not good at all. Isn't she like one of the ones? Okay, maybe not. Okay, let's, let's, <laughs> where do we go? I'm just like, let's go, let's go somewhere. Let's go and definitely see if we can't do a little friendly introduction with this woman who's definitely needs some save it anyway because she's so angry in here. Ooh, my pub's been rather successful, but I'm always looking for the next best thing. I think I have a lead on a few exciting drinks we could offer here and only here. But running the pub keeps me busy, and I could use a little help. What do you think? Would you like to help make some mixology magic happen? A new drink recipe, cooking ingredients, and a freshly prepared meal. You know what? I think that sounds pretty darn stinking good. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So we need to deliver a blueberry, a raspberry, and a chuckleberry. Great, we literally just sold all of them. So we'll definitely have to wait until we get home and see what we have in order to do this. So we need to order and drink a Bagley Berry Fizz. Oh, we got rid of literally everything. Okay, well, we did. We got rid of everything. So that's, that's fantastic. I'm gonna put my orange egg in there. <laughs> And we're gonna add in our nice little rose bush as well as our paradise one So we can go ahead and do those as well But we do need to get a blueberry raspberry and a choco berry. I think we have raspberries Right here, which they're out of season. They're in fall Unfortunately, so we might actually have to order that we do have blueberries right here, which we're able to collect. And we do have our chuckleberries. So literally the one thing that we're gonna have to grab tomorrow from the one of the booths is a raspberry. And then we will be in business. We'll be able to make it unless we just, for some reason, can't find it. But we got some cute little things to do today. Ooh, this is in season too. That's fantastic. What about our rose bush? Is it in season? Fall and spring. Okay. Okay, well that's that's great. I am actually thinking about moving our bees. I was actually thinking about moving them like maybe more over towards this area 
and that way they can help like fertilize and stuff I definitely feel like that would be a definitely a good good little helper for us and I'm obviously going to go ahead and grab that last little cubicle that we need in order to put our last charming mushroom in as well but I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up right here if you are new to my channel make sure you do hit that subscribe button because that just help our little village to grow I hope you guys are still loving this series as much as I am but I hope you guys are having an amazing day remember you are loved you are special and you are kind and I'll see you guys real soon in my next video love you guys bye bye friends